All right, so we get to their UV unwrap portion for Goggles the Boy, which is character 3.6. This body looks pretty good. I really like how it turned out. So let's click the UV editing tab. And for the head, you can currently see how it's unwrapped. And we need to switch the texture file to a new texture file. Go to image, new, character 3 underscore 6 underscore texture. We always start fresh. You don't have to. You can always use the same texture if you want, but I do it for practice reasons. Also, it helps me keep everything organized, keeping everything separate. And for the head, you can press slash to isolate the shape. That way you don't have anything else that kind of distracts you. And let's select this middle edge loop, mark the seam, and we get these two circular UVs, one for the front, one for the back. This would be a simple way to unwrap the head and then you would want to organize your UVs. That's why I'm selecting these edges in the middle. You can see I clicked an edge at the top and click the edge down and then click the edge in the next row and then another edge in the row after that. And you can see how the UVs are unaligned on the left side. So we need to align this. Again, you don't have to align it, but I do it for organization purposes. I just like everything aligned before I even start putting any textures onto my character. I'm going to rotate this clockwise and just get that middle line in the middle. It's probably going to be the same thing for the left side, but you want to double check by flipping the 3D model to the back side and then just clicking to see if it's the same. And you see the top edge is on the right side. And then when I move down a row, the edge is moving towards the left. So we need to rotate this counterclockwise. That's how I do it. There's probably a better way to do it, but that's just easier for me. It makes a lot more sense. That's why I have the 3D model on the right side of the screen. And then on the left side, you have the UVs. And it makes a lot of sense when you're clicking with UV sync selection. It's straightforward on what I'm doing. And then scale these down, place it anywhere on the texture. It can even be outside of the texture if you want, because we're going to be organizing everything towards the end anyways with all the separate objects we're just quickly doing this so that it's located in a specific position on the texture 